Hi, I'm Maitli. I'm from Group 3. Today, I'm going to present on abstract of our project. The title assigned for our project is Synthesis Properties and Application of Carbon Nanotubes. Firstly, we have discussed on structure of our carbon nanotubes. Uh, if you ever wondered how does it look like, uh, it has two structures. First one is single wall, and it looks like this. And second one is multi wall. It is quite similar to a single wall structure, but it has several layers. Next, we discussed on synthesis method of carbon nanotubes, mainly for first is arc discharge, chemical vapor deposition, laser ablation, and synthesis of pyrolysis oil from printed circuit. We also discussed on properties of carbon nanotubes in the aspect of electrical properties, chemical, thermal, optical, and mechanical properties. Last but not least, we have discussed on application of carbon nanotubes such as conductive composite, terabit memory device, field emission supply uh, display, and as you can see, three more here. Actually, there are more applications. Uh, it will be discussed further in upcoming videos. Not to forget, we also discussed on future scope and challenges in research of carbon nanotube materials. Thank you. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm Lee Su Jing from RK Tough Material Engineering. Um, I will discuss about the introduction and the carbon types of carbon nanotube. And uh, carbon nanotube is discovered by Sumio Ijima in 1991, and he observed that carbon nanotube has turbulent carbon structures. Since carbon nanotube is useful in many applications in nanotechnology, it attracts many scientists to make some research on its characteristics and properties. Carbon nanotube is hollow and cylindrical material and it is made of carbon which having a diameter measuring in nanometer scale. And the average structure of carbon nanotube in sp2 hybridization and it is constructed in hexagonal lattice of carbon atoms the, the diameter of carbon nanotube is less than one nanometer and there are different structure depends on the way it roll up the different structure will influence the properties such as electrical properties thermal properties and more nature there are two types of carbon nanotube, which is single wall nanotube and multi wall nanotubes. Single wall nanotube has only one single layer of graphene sheet and is rolled up into a tube shape. Diameter of single wall nanotube is around one nanometer, but its length is much more is much more longer than diameter. And chiral vector represents the way roll up. When n equals to n, the it is called as armchair nanotubes, and when n equals to zero, it is called as zigzag nanotubes. When n equal is not equal to n is not equal to zero, it is called as chiral nanotube. This is how the single wall nanotube looks like. Next, uh, the multi wall nanotubes. Multi wall nanotubes has many layers of graphene sheet which the range of the layer is about 6 to 25 or more. The, it has regular layering and random layering and its diameter is more than 100 nanometer. There is also an interatomic forces is held between the layers together. Thank you. Good day and hi. I'm Melvin Tajayong. Today I will discuss about the synthesis of carbon nanotubes. There are four synthesis methods in carbon nanotubes. They are chemical vapor deposition, laser ablation, electric arc discharge, and others. First, let's talk about the chemical vapor deposition, CVD. There are many types of CVD. However, to synthesis carbon nanotubes, the standard technique used is the catalytic CVD. In this method, we are normally used to produce multi-wall nanotubes. A substrate covered with metal catalysts like cobalt and iron is heated to approximately 700 degrees Celsius. The growth starts after two gases are passed through the chamber. The production can yield up to 90% of CNTs. This method is commonly used for industrial purposes because it is low cost and producing a 
quite pure CNTs. The second method is arc discharge method. Two graphite rods are placed in an enclosure that is filled with some inner gas like argon at a low pressure. The carbon rod acts as electron. Most nanotube deposit on the cathode, and this method can yield 60% of carbon nanotubes. The third method is laser ablation method. It can produce a high use of single wall nanotubes, which is up to more than 70%. By this method, we are vaporizing the graphite rods with a small amount of nickel and cobalt at 1200 degrees Celsius. The two other methods is the synthesis of carbon nanotubes from printed circuit board waste pyrolysis oil. It is to synthesize the pyrolysis oil based resins which was used as a precursor to prepare the carbon nanotubes. The second other method is the catalytic synthesis of carbon nanostructures from polymer precursors. It is produced by decomposing the polyethylene and polyvinyl alcohol using iron as a catalyst at 600 to 750 degrees Celsius under a nitrogen flow. Assalamualaikum and very good evening. My name is Muhammad Kukul Ishbin Anwar from Akhtar 12. Today, I will present to you Carbonatube's application and its properties. First, we look at the properties. It has several properties which is high electrical conductivity, very high tensile strength and very elastic. First, high electrical conductivity. It has a particular combination of N and N. Structural parameters indicating how much the nanotube is twisted. For N equal to M, uh, it shows the nanotube is the metallic, while if M, M times 3, it shows a semiconductor carbon nanotube. It can be either metallic or semiconductor in the India electrical behavior. Metallic nanotube can carry an electric current density of 4 times. 10 power of 9 area per centimeter square, which is more than 100,000 times greater than those of metals such as copper. Second, high tensile strength. First, tensile strength is the measure of amount of force an object can withstand without tearing apart. The tensile strength of carbon nanotube is approximately 100 times greater than that of steel of the same diameter. The carbon atoms of single graphite sheet of graphite form a planar honeycomb lattice in which each atom is connected via a strong chemical bond to three neighboring atoms. Because of these strong bonds, the basal plane elastic modulus of graphite is one of the lattice of any known materials. Third, it's very elastic. Single wall nanotubes are stiffer than steel and are very resistant to damage from physical force. Pressing on the tip of nanotube will cause it to bend. But without damage, still, when the force is removed, the return to its original state. Uh, now we move to the application of carbon tubes. Carbon tubes not only unique atomic arrangement but also have unique properties. These extra organic properties can purify them to apply in the very application field, such as structural field. Uh, okay, so it's a field in textile. Carbonate can produce waterproof and real resistant fabrics. Second, body armor. Carbonate fiber are being used as such combat jacket. Jacket are used to monitor the condition of the wearer and to provide protection from bullets. And last, concrete. This can increase its tensile strength and half crack propagation. Second, in electromagnetic field. <coughs> This can be applied such as in light bulb filaments, artificial plants, third, artificial implants. They can be used as implants in the form of a pigeon without force rejection creation. Fourth, biosensors. An example of the glucose sensing application where replacement test tests of glucose by diabetic patient are equipped to measure and control their sugar levels. That's all. Thank you. Challenges faced by the carbon nanotubes. They are creating a uniform or isometric materials, high cost of productions, length issue, and issues on a CNT-based application.
the creating a uniform or isometric materials is a problem because it's the dispersing of carbon nanotubes is a very complicated process because they are highly sensitive to the process parameter. Carbon nanotube tends to suffer from insufficient bonding across the interface of the nanotube and matrix mineral and, and the chirality of carbon nanotubes. This is the challenge because they are affecting the conductivity of carbon nanotubes. Second, the high cost of production. Research and technique used to yield carbon nanotubes are expensive. Third, the issues on the carbon nanotube based application, especially in the electrical materials. Limited impact of bulk carbon nanotubes in data and power distribution system and in electrically conductive composites. The studies in the recent years in the application area of bulk CFPs are electrical wiring. Finally, length issues. The length of the available nanotubes is in the range of 0.5 to 5 micrometers. A longer tube is needed to strengthen the bond. Thank you. to the final part of the presentation which is conclusion so by now i hope by watching the previous videos we have wealth of information on property synthesis methods application and future scope and challenges of carbon nanotubes carbon nanotubes actually attracts researchers to study this material but lack of commerciality and accessible price prevents it so I think that is all about carbon nanotubes and it actually gives us a promising future on the field of material sciences and nanotechnology. Thank you for watching. Well, that is all you need to know about carbon nanotubes.